Hi guys, um, my name is Stacey Kyo. I am the manager of the IT recruitment team here at Brightwater. Um, so what I wanted to come on and, and discuss today was remote interviewing in light of the, the COVID-19 situation scenario here in Ireland um, and across the globe, I guess. Um, due to the situation, you know, we've all had to adapt to change um, working from home. Um, and with that, recruitment is no different. Um, it just means interviewing has now been done remotely. Most of our clients and businesses that we are still, you know, pretty busy working along with um, are now adapting to doing videos and onboarding people remotely. Um, so, look, I want to go through a step-by-step -step guide with you of how best to prepare, um, how to succeed and, and, you know, come across well um, for an interview, a remote interview. So, firstly, um, what is a remote virtual interview? This basically means it's still a face-to-face -face interview done over a, a video call. Um, it's done, vers you know, remotely done over two different locations um, and you are sent a link um, from the hiring manager, recruitment team or HR. Um, that will allow you to click into that link and join that, that video interview call. Um, so typically you are sent a link to either WebEx, Zoom or Skype. Um, they're, they're the usuals that are, are typically used. Um, this is not anything different in the world of IT, you know, technology. In our world, it's something that we, we are used to. It's typically a process. Um, but, you know, for other areas, it's quite new. So hopefully these steps will, will guide and may help you in, in terms of preparing. Um, so like any other inter interview, you have to prepare. Um, if you want to be successful, you have to be ready, you have to have the right tools and to succeed. Um, I guess, the f first of all, the, the, the steps that, that I would say is number one is ensure that you test the technology and you test the link that you've been sent prior to the interview, whether that be the day before, um, the morning before, a few days before. You know, nine times out of ten, you know, if, if you're not used to doing these video calls, you don't have that software downloaded and you usually have to download. So whether it's WebEx or Zoom, you know, if you click in the day before, it will allow you to download the software onto your laptop or onto your desktop. Um, so when you join that call, you're ready. There's no delays. There's no issues. Um, there may be a password to join. You know, there, there could be a couple of different scenarios. So just ensure you're ready, you're familiar, and you know exactly what you need to do. Um, secondly, this is more for technology, but it could actually work in other areas, maybe engineering or whatever whatever it may be, um, that involve testing. I guess feedback that I've had from candidates over over the last few weeks is you may not be using your laptop that you're used to, or maybe you've, you've changed some things, um, maybe you, you know, you've got a new laptop. Ensure that you've got the tools that you are going to require for that video interview. So, for example, Technology, typically, there is some sort of um, testing, so whether it be a live coding test or that you've got the right tools installed or apps on your computer or your iPad or whatever you have. For example, a diagramming tool or a diagramming app that will allow you to problem solve um, during, throughout the interview. Sometimes hiring managers or HR don't give you that information beforehand and you may not know you need that, but just have it, you know, be ready, be prepared. Um, you'd rather be prepared and, and it, you know, rather than it come up and not, not been able to, you know, come across as the strongest or, you know, the best possible candidate for the role. Um, the next, I think this is one of the most important steps is um, test the scene. That, that's one of the most important things. Um, I, I, I believe for, you know, some of us doing the interview, the, you know, the, the hiring manager, if they come on and see a messy environment or, you know, it's, it's, it's loud or there's there's a dog barking in the background or there's, you know, outside noise, it can be quite frustrating. They've took time out of their day and, you know, they want to, to feel like you're, you're quite interested as well and you need to show that. So what I would say is ensure that you are, first of all, you test that your signal is okay, your computer is working, your video is working. Um, you're in a well-lit area. It's clean and tidy. Um, there's no background noise, you know, sometimes if the window is open and, you know, somebody's putting the grass or there's children playing outside or whatever it may be, ensure that there's no background noise, like a washing machine, for example. Um, if you've got children at home, which I think most of us, you know, that we're, a lot of families right now are all at home, um, so please ensure that, you know, the children are distracted or your adults are distracted or your cats, whatever it may be. I think we've all seen that video where, the Sky News reporter, um, the, the child runs in when he, he's doing the, the, you know, the report over video. Um, I think it's the mother that kind of crawls in to try and take the child out. Um, as funny as it is, it, it can be distracting for you and it could, you know, nobody wants that scenario happening. Um, so, you know, setting the scene um, can be can be quite important. 
um, the next step would be interview prep. So this is no different than any other interview. Um, you know, you need to ensure that you have all the information. What's great about this sort of interview is you could have some notes, you know, right next to you. Um, you know, you could have your CV, the job spec, you know, kind of bullet points in terms of things that will remind you or allow you to, to discuss them, you know, kind of maybe some just topics or areas of, of information or tools that you've used. Um, that, that, that's a really good um, a difference that these are positives, I guess, from, from these sort of interviews. Um, what I would say as well, you're going to have the information of the hiring managers that you're going to be meeting. Um, so have a look at their LinkedIn page, familiarize yourself with their technical backgrounds or their experience backgrounds, where they came from. You might see something that's familiar. They may have worked somewhere that you have in the past that is, you know, a common interest. Um, or you may sometimes see something that they say volunteer in. Um, I'd also put the face to the name if they've got a picture on their, their LinkedIn. Um, sometimes that allows you to feel a little bit more comfortable when you already know the face of, of who you're going to be speaking with. Um, Know the, the CV, your CV, the job spec, um, you know, prepare technically or prepare projects um, that you want to discuss, you know, value that you know you can bring to the role. Um, know what the company does, um, you know, be able to give good detail, back up everything with an example, don't veer off topics, um, you know, don't get distracted. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to say it, you know, there's, no, there's nothing worse than kind of rambling on if you don't know the answer. Um, so that that's definitely, I mean, I guess preparation is definitely something that is, Something that's done through all processes, but I think when you're doing a video call, maybe sometimes people lose sight of that. Um, another thing as well is energy, enthusiasm, um, body language. Um, you know, monitor your body language, monitor your your how you come across during that process, that interview. Um, we're in a relaxed environment. We're at home. We're at home. That that typically means we're more relaxed. Um, so ensure that you're you know dressed apart. Um, you feel the part. You are sitting up straight. Um, you are being professional and you don't lose light of the fact that this is still on video. Um, that, that typically then brings me to, uh, you know, ensuring that you're dressing the part. People tend to forget that when you're you're at home, um, you know, again, you're in that more relaxed environment, but this is still an interview. It's still a professional environment. Ensure that you're dressed the part. You'll feel the part if you're dressed the part. Um, one thing I think is, is, is that's come up a few times that I, it's been quite funny in the past is, um, I have had uh, clients tell me or, or candidates tell me in the past where they have, uh, you know, dressed the part up top or they've, you know, half dressed the part um, and they have worn jammer bottoms, jammer bottoms at the bottom and a shirt at the top. Um, that definitely, you know, uh, it, it's, it's one thing you want to avoid. Um, people sometimes stand up out of habit at the end of a call um, and that has happened. So ensure that you're dressed apart, um, that you're fully dressed apart. Um, don't be afraid to ask the, the recruiter or the you know the hiring manager. It, you know, is it usually professional dress? You know, how does it, you know that's what's the environment, what's the culture that will allow you to know. You know, sometimes in technology, a jeans and a shirt, a jeans and a t-shirt is the norm, and if you're overdressed. It can be, you know, sometimes it's not a good thing. So you know what you need to wear, but definitely dress the part, and it's quite important. Um, and then lastly, I guess what can be difficult for a hiring manager, a company, or even for you is to get a feel. For the personalities, uh, you know, of, of you know, getting a vibe, is this person a good fit? Um, sometimes over video. So the best way of, of you know, trying to ensure that you come across as your best possible self or you're likable is having energy um, during the call and asking questions. So a good question to ask in that sense um, is culture, values, what's important um, to the company or what's important to the hiring manager that's interviewing you? You know, what do you think is um, important to the team, what is the culture fit, what is, um, you know, what do you feel that I would fit quite well in on the team or, you know, what would you suggest as, um, you know, the, the best culture within within the team. That will allow sometimes a common interest to come up um, or maybe you've seen something on their LinkedIn page that has, they've done something, they've volunteered or something that can you, you might be able to have a common interest. They may have done 10 interviews that day. Um, and, you know, sometimes you want to stand out uh, amongst the rest to be memorable. That, that can help. Um, so try and, you know, even get an understanding of their body language. Or if there's two people on the call, try and get an understanding of how they're interacting with each other. Are they more laid back? Um, are they more professional? Are they more stern? Or, um, you know, are they laughing? You know, or is there, you know, kind of good eye contact and things like that? So definitely get a vibe. That, that's quite important as well. Um, but definitely ask questions, you know, try and get a feel and don't lose sight that this is still an interview and um, you can still, you know, on board remotely, you know, this is something that we need to adapt to. 
it, it's difficult times. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's it, it's a scenario that I don't think any of us have really dealt with in a, in our lifetime lifetime. So everybody's in the same boat. So I think that that uh, you know kind of stands to everybody that you know you're dealing with hiring managers that may have not dealt with this situation themselves. They may have not done remote interviews. So the better you prepared you are, um, you know, the best possible self that you can be in that interview will will speak volumes um, and it will help you succeed. So, you know, don't lose light fast it's still an interview, prepare as usual. And if you follow these steps, you know, you could be in a very well, you know, be in a good position to be successful and, and you know, get an offer, hopefully. I mean, that's what we all want at the end of the day. Um, so if there's any questions from, from clients or candidates, um, any insight to the market or any more assistance in this sort of situation, um, please reach out, um, myself and my team and anybody at Bright Motor into Dublin, Cork or um, Belfast office and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.